copacetic. That way uh, you don't blow anything up. I sent him pretty good pictures of it and he seems to think that it's going to work. Well, that's a plus. What'd you end up, how, what'd you do, a pair of A-10s modulate? How'd you end up doing it? No, it's, it's, I'm going to use this modulator that I'm talking on right now. And it's just a pair of 810s as the finals. Plate modulated. Push pull though, not parallel. What do you think you're going to end up for a carrier? 350 watts. Right where it needs to be. See, I'm anxious to anxious to hear that thing on the air, man. So uh, quit working so much and get over there. Get that done. Get over there and test it. We want to hear it. W3 MMR. Yeah, man. Well, I gotta work while I can. This job's like over, and I don't know what's gonna happen. So, I might be riding the bench. In which case, it'll get done pretty fast. Last time I was laid off, I built the whole power supply in case I want to use a linear amplifier in the future. I um, what am I gonna say? Well, I'd be anxious. I, I'm actually kind of not looking forward to it because you give me the signal you give me as it is. Um, it's 30 to 40 over sometimes, and uh, with 100 watts of carrier, so with 350 watts of carrier, it should be a, a pretty good improvement. Yeah, it should be a nice, legal, good AM setup. You know. Imagine if I did what, you know, a lot of these guys are doing and, you know, running a couple thousand watts carrier. <laughs> That'd be, uh, well, that, it doesn't, it, see, the thing is, it's, you're, uh, <laughs> you're going to be right up there with them, you know, because you're almost doing that now. Give me the same signal that they give me now, honest to Christ. So, I'm, uh, I'm real anxious to see. I, I just got to get my antenna up higher. My antenna is only 35 feet off the ground, and I can go up double. So, I'm just just having stopped procrastinating and doing it. But uh, it's one of the things, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I have a tendency of fixing things till they break. So, this is the one thing I haven't broken yet. That's right where my antenna is, about 35 at the B point. Yeah, my, that's where my B point is. And I, it's in an inverted, it's inverted V, and it's either leg is about 15 feet off the ground. Um, so it's, it is what it is, you know. I don't have a big piece of property, my property's small. So it's like literally stretch from one corner of the property all the way almost to the other corner. <laughs> so gotta make do with what with what you got. Gotta make do with what God gave you. Sounds like we're like a dipole. Sound thing that light came out of the tree. So it's a sloper. So I have a uh Oh, I guess it's a horizontal V. The north end is flat, and the and the south end is a, a V. <clears throat> so a uh, winded dipole. The problem is the uh, the canopy's filled in so tight here that you can't get anything through it. So. If you did, you'd lose it. So it'll have to be um, October, November, somewhere in there before I can reset the line on this antenna. 
Well, it's, it's working fine here. Um, I don't think it made that big obvious. Well, it didn't make enough of a difference to for me to be like, oh my God, Brian, what happened? You know? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, what's that kind of... It's kind of my the one side is um, the bad the one leg is up in the tree and it's all filled in now and it's kind of is where it is until um, until fall but I don't know I seem to get out okay with the antenna where it is and it's just one of those things where. I just don't need want another headache, you know what I mean? I don't want to mess with it, and then, you know, I, I raise it up, and then, you know, it, it, it changes the match, and right now, the resonance frequency is 3885. You know, it's matches around 1.15, uh, right on 3885, so and I don't want to, you know, I just don't want to mess with it, kind of. And it, it, will, will it make that big of a difference? And, you know, going through all that, and especially if I end up having a problem, you know, after raising it up, and, then it, and it doing all that, and all that headache, and if and not to make any difference, and then I'd really be pissed off, you know what I mean? So, it's just one of them things where it's kind of just leave well enough alone until I really have nothing to do, and I just say, screw it, and and start doing it. Man, I'm so glad I don't have to worry about stuff like that. KD2, AFV. Toby. Uh, how are we all doing tonight, Pat? Billy, I heard you in there. Barry, I heard you got my good old uh, catchphrase going there. The whole, if it ain't broke, fix it till it is. That's right. Rings true, man. It's the story of my life. I'm gonna get that tattooed on me along with Creamy G. Uh, I, from what I heard, you should go for Mr. Softy. Man, that that bastard didn't show up today. Speaking of Mr. Softy, yeah, but it sounded good on the Anon Toby and the new uh, amplificator. Big, uh, big signal, big audio, sounding good. W3 MMR. Yeah, Brian, uh, there too. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> I'm just glad to uh, <clears throat> get a chance to actually come in here and uh, get on the air for a little bit. I've been uh, throwing hay bales all afternoon, so really, eh, it felt good to head home, get a shower, get cleaned up come up here to my shack and just kick back and actually enjoy myself for once. KD2, AFV. Well, good for you, man. Kick back, kick your feet up, relax, do some radio and before you get hollered at by the old lady. <laughs> yeah, I don't miss throwing hay bales. I did that crap when I was a kid, man. Growing up in South Jersey. I don't... It's a hard, some hard work, man. But anyway, yeah, Brian's in here, Billy's in here, and we're just hanging out. I'm gonna go grab a drink. I'll be back in a in a minute or two and turn this fan on and get this air conditioner blown in here. W3MMR. W1